Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for, for us. us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven when he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him. He received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Please all stand. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do His will. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, 
Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Way back, perhaps siguro mga 20 years, there was this fuss no? going around. Wala pang social media noon, wala pang Facebook, wala pang Instagram, kung saan usong-uso ang mangulekta ng figurines ng mga anghel. No? 20 years siguro. No? Kapag pumunta ka sa mga stores, iba't ibang mukha, no? iba't ibang laki, iba't ibang size. No? At talaga namang nakakatuwa sila i-display. No? Dahil yun nga, mga laanghel, no? ang mga mukha nito. No? And it reminds us perhaps of our early childhood belief no? that there is an angel watching over us, no? sent by God in order to guide and protect us. No? Isa rin siguro sa mga dasal na na-memorize na natin nung bata tayo ay Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. No? Memorize nyo ba yun? Hindi nga. As we mature, no? we are introduced to a more particular um, advocacy no? named after particular archangel. No? These three no? that we are celebrating today. Sino sila? Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. No? Hindi na natin imemension yung apat pang apocryphal no? because they are not contained in the Bible. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating the feast no, of the three archangels. No? Sila yung mga high-ranking officials no, sa langit na, na mention sa Bible kung saan they have this particular description, no? ministering spirits. No? Ano ibig sabihin ng ministering, ministering spirits? No? Nagsisilbi sa harapan lang ng Diyos. No? Nakatunganga lang sa mukha ng Diyos. No? At inuutos no? kung ano man ang kailangan niyang ipagawa. No? Whether it is here on earth no? or there in heaven. No? And I guess it is high time for us to be reminded of this perhaps childhood no? belief of an angel. No? On October 2, it is a Sunday, we will be celebrating Holy Guardian Angels, no? those personalized angels no, sa atin. But today, we are reminded of these three, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Ano ba sila? No? Sino ba sila? No? What particular ministry are there? Are they um, observing before God? No? Michael, we know no, that he is the what? Siguro sa mga may hilig uminom dyan, no? Hinebra San Miguel, no? <laughs> Yung 
the iconography of the one who is always with the in, um, in combat no battle with the devil no kaya siya yung protector defender and guide no natin no? and perhaps we are invited no? to memorize the prayer of saint michael today alam niyo yung prayer ni saint michael But for some who don't no it is a very good material for us no? to memorize no? and to keep it sa ating heart especially if we are in difficulty because all of us are actually always undergoing a certain battle spiritual one no? nakikipagtunggali palagi tayo sa kaaway sa diablo no? na hindi natin nakikita they only take different forms no but they are essentially the same the enemy that makes us away from god second sino ba si gabriel no? ang dakilang marites ng dios <laughs> ang dakilang chismosa o chismoso. There you see, the one who informs no, anything about what God wants to make happen, no, it will either be good or bad. Yes? No? But every time that we receive news, no, just like Mary, it always needs the guidance of the Holy Spirit in order to us to what? Understand it clearly. Take it to heart according to how God wants us to receive that information. God's message. No? Ang problema kasi sa atin, meron tayong sariling interpretation. At madalas, eto ay what tainted by our prejudices no? but today we are reminded to hear the message clearly through saint gabriel the information disseminator of god for us to be guided properly as we journey here on earth and lastly the last our angel Raphael. Who is he? He is the messenger of healing, reconciliation, and restoration. Sa lahat ho ng mga nasaktan, sa lahat ho ng mga may trauma o kaya may sugat, we call on to the intercession of this great archangel. And the ministry that he brings is that restoration God is promising us. The healing that what He is attributed with, no? if we read the Scriptures. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no? for this Holy Mass, no? for today's celebration, no? ministering means doing something. Ministering means no, belief translated into action. Our belief in our angels no, or angels doesn't make us better people. But our behavior does. No? Our behavior towards that particular ministry they are attending to before God. At sana mas ma-fortify yan ngayon sa paggugunita natin ng kanilang kapistahan. Not only be reminded by, you know, siguro may mga angels pa kayo ng mga collection sa bahay ninyo, no? nilalagay ninyo sa si altar, no? o kaya nilalagay ninyo sa cabinet, no? why not? No? But may it be a reminder, no? those images no? of winged human beings, no? of what they, what? Represent. Particular ministry. So that we, may all be drawn closer to God. 
Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, pray for us. Amen. Please stand. Our prayers today are brought before the Father by the ministry of the holy archangels, the pure spirits of the invisible creation who constantly serve God and His people. In every prayer we all say, through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord. Through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord. That Saint Michael may defend and sustain Christians suffering persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us, O Lord. That those who proclaim the truth may be encouraged by the care of Saint Gabriel. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord. That Saint Raphael may console our sick and suffering brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord. That we may be humble before the mystery of the creation we cannot see. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord that we may always be aware of the ministry of our guardian angels. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the angels, angels bless, bless us, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Creator, accept our prayers and the petitions as we rejoice in the help of the glorious company of heaven gathered around this altar. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord humbly entreating that as these gifts are born of the mystery of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may re receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end into your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things 
through Christ our Lord, through Him, the multitude of angels extols Your Majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously 
grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from its new strengths under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.
Oh, so